Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White, and I'm coming to you from Utah, USA. It's a little chilly here this morning in Utah, and I've got my little heater roaring. I hope it doesn't interfere too much, because really, <laughs> I'm too chilly to turn it off. Oh, oh my goodness. So, um, we are now... In, we are continuing in Russia and China in prophecy. So today we're going to read the spread of communism and how how it's moved around the globe. I just put a um, little video up to show you uh, all the countries in the world that are in debt to China and how they're how how they could if these countries don't um, fulfill their financial obligations how China could move in and take over those countries anyway you know I love you guys but we gotta look at this and be aware of what's coming around the corner it's all written in the Bible it's plain as day you have ears to hear and eyes to see and you at you study the word of God and you seek understanding of the word which is the knowledge if you have the knowledge it gives you the wisdom to walk in God's ways which is really amazing <laughs> it's so good for you it's like the best stuff next I think being in heaven is um, having a really close relationship with our father and son, his son. So, here we'll continue with the spread of communism. For decades, both Russia and China have had their eyes fixed on conquering Middle Asia, Indochina, and Southeast Asia. Their ultimate goal said Mr. Armstrong, is not just frontier expansion, but global control. Reality dictates that achieving such a goal is only possible if these two countries cooperate, two countries being Russia and China. The December 1959 Plain Truth revealed some of these communist plans, including Russia and China's goal to form a coalition Russia's program is not, let, is not to take Europe and to attack the United States first. Let me read that again. Russia's program is not to take Europe and to attack the United States first. The communist program, which our leaders should know, calls first for the seizure of Asia. Lenin wrote that the way to Paris, London, and New York is via Beijing and Delhi. Part of the communist plan is to place India and Pakistan in a giant vice between Russia and China. Red China insists it has the legal right not only to Tibet but to many parts of India and Asia, Southeast Asia. The Mongols and Chinese, constant dream for centuries has been ultimate world conquest. It's been their dream. China knows, however, that in this highly industrialized age, she can accomplish this dream only as an ally of Russia. China is now ready to begin devouring the rest of Asia with Russia's secret military backing. The plans were laid bare in the Korean War. China, not Russia, intervened in Korea. Korea became divided. China, not Russia, launched attacks in Indochina and seized control of North Vietnam. Vietnam became divided. Next, the Chinese communists took over all Tibet. From Tibet, the Chinese planned conquest of India by dividing her and devouring her 
a piece at a time. The Communist Party will ultimately control not only the Russian states, but China and India as well. Emphasis ours throughout. Remember that this was written in 1959. It was the thick of the Cold War, and communism was thought to be the factor that would unite this Eastern Bloc. History appears to have since largely left that political and economic theory behind. But the forecast of a Russia-China alliance that would come to envelop the rest of Asia remains as viable today as it was half a century ago. That's because what informed those remarkable statements, in addition to the histories of these nations, were the biblical prophecies about Asia that we'll, we will examine in this booklet. The Plain Truth did forecast some geopolitical changes at present yet remain unfulfilled. But based on prophecy it warned, even while the U.S. stood at the pinnacle of world power of America's impending international setbacks in Vietnam, Notice this from the November 1961 issue. Having advanced virtually to the brink of another Korean-type war over Laos, the United States would almost certainly have to fight a major battle in either Thailand or South Vietnam. In May 1968, Seven years before the unconditional surrender of South Vietnam to communism, the plain truth stated, Bible prophecy reveals that not even America, with all her nuclear muscle, can prevent Southeast Asia from eventually being overrun by communism. For more accurately, <coughs> excuse me, or more accurately, from being drawn into a Chinese-Russian dominated geopolitical bloc. China, with the USSR's help, continued to push into the middle Southeast Asia throughout the 1960s. In December 1962, the Plain Truth reported on the Chinese-Indian border conflict. The Soviets are supplying the Chinese with technical know-how and letting China's 600 million people gobble up the rest of Asia. Now, this was in, this was back in the 60s. China's population now is 1.393 billion people. In 46 years, they went from 600 million people to 1 billion point 393 million Chinese. This is why their food, that's why acquiring food is such a huge part of their endeavors at this point in time. They have a lot of mouths to feed. It is part of their propaganda that these areas once were under Chinese control. The article also said a cunning two-point Russia, uh, excuse me, a cunning two-point red thrust has again caught the West off guard. While Soviet Russia was secretly establishing a missile beachhead in Cuba, the red Chinese were assembling immense supplies 100,000 men and heavy armor for an attack on India. Red Chinese have already captured more than 50,000 square miles of Indian territory. Almost no one, it seems, is aware that India is far more important to communist leaders than is Cuba. Cuba is an extra prize which the communists chanced upon. But the next big goal in communist thinking 
is India. The petty jealousies between Moscow and Beijing are not deterring either from their joint goal, world conquest. This is all part of the great communist plan enunciated by Lenin 30 years ago. The plain truth continued to track the Sino-Russian affinity throughout the next several years. In July 1966, it made this startling prediction. India knows Red China is completing massive troop buildups on the Indian border. India knows Red China has the atomic bomb and possibly the hydrogen bomb. That means the most urgent considerations of national security. India must have the bomb, purely as a defensive measure against Red China, of course. But then there's Pakistan. Pakistan is born of violent, violent hatreds between Hindu and Muslim. Since India build the build the bombs, Pakistanians would turn in desperation to the big powers. They would be forced to obtain nuclear weapons. By 1998, this forecast came to pass. Both India and Pakistan had tested nuclear bombs, abruptly pronouncing themselves members of the exclusive nuclear club. In addition to pushing into Middle Asia, China would attempt to pull some of its island neighbors into its grips. On this issue, Western leaders have tried to appease China through various peace talks, generally to no avail. The very non-politically correct plain truth of the 1960s didn't mince words regarding this problem. The Asiatic mind is totally different from the Occidental Western mind. It doesn't reason in the same manner. Try though we may to delude ourselves into believing our dollars, trade missions, military advisors and arms shipments, our hospital ships, our missions, our food supplies, are helping stem the tide of the advancing threat of communism in these Eastern nations. We are failing. <clears throat> these simple peoples are impressed with strength, not talk. They feel a much closer kinship with other people of the Asian sphere than they do with the faraway Yankees with customs, languages, and religions so totally different from their own. November 1961. Yes, eventually the forces pushing Russia and China apart would be overwhelmed by forces driving them into each other's arms. Just as the plain truth said would happen, based on the prophecies of the Bible. So I will label this part one C. C is in cat. And as always, I love you. And I'm going to continue to try to keep putting up um, as much information on this as possible so that people um, can start grasping what is really going on with China and the New World Order and the rise of Satan to power. So, me and Annie say, we love you!